Well, hello, and welcome to Heat Death. They describe this game as build your deck, rewrite your cards, and join in epic space battles. Heat Death is a single player deck builder, which takes card customization and power scaling to extremes as you battle against sentient stars and black holes. Whoa. Demo is free on Steam, and that's what I have here. Let's give it a shot. New game. Welcome to Heat Death Tutorial. If you would like to skip the tutorial, simply click the red X. We're not doing that. This is the so-called deck-building roguelike game, meaning you start from the very beginning every time you win, or every time you lose, depending on what happens first. But fear not, starting over is what it's all about. Every time you start over, you'll find different items, and you can try out different strategies. In the game, you will try to build a powerful deck from the cards you find along the way. Lots of different tricks and strategies are possible. Exploring the countless possibilities is what it's all about. This is a very deep and complex game, so there's a lot of stuff you'll need to learn. But I'll try not to overwhelm you with everything at once. Instead, I'll keep giving you some useful tips here and there. Learning from your mistakes is probably more fun than listening to me. Right now, we are in the character selection screen. Here you choose which planet you want to pilot. Each planet will find diff <laughs> different cards, and you will play very different strategies. As you can see, there's only one planet and one difficulty setting available in the demo, but that's okay. It's a good one. Looks like we get to play as humans. Uh, we get to be on difficulty one, and we're going to play as the storm planet. Though it might look like a gas giant, a at first glance, this planet's stripes are actually immense sandstorms, which most... In full, in full, hidden underground, the vast dunes of sand can move quickly to cushion the impact of projectiles and conceal craters. Is concealing craters a good thing? Alright, I'm going to turn you guys up here. Let's take a look. <laughs> Do we go for the white? Do we go for the red? Let's go red. Oh, there's options. Red cluster. At the start of each combat, all present characters gain plus one firepower and shield power. Or, high threat levels are less common here. White cluster. Ooh, well, yeah. I think it's kind of FTL-like then, so that's our map right there. I wonder if we got to go to a new solar system there, or galaxy, maybe? I don't know. Let's go where we gain one, plus one power. Oh my Oh my! Ah, uh, um. All right, you are here. Well, I certainly am. So we've gone from the map screen to the individual sectors in the map area. That I don't even know what that is. Zooming, enhance. It's just the planet. All right, we're gonna go for this sun right here. Oh, are we able to travel with all those circles? Hmm. Medium threat level detected. Medium. Inferno. Medium. 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 Can't reach those ones. Medium. Looks like... Looks like we'll go for this one. Oh my. You traveled to a star with enemies on it, and you'll have to fight. This is the meat and potatoes of the game. You can see your pi uh, planet is at the left of the screen, and the enemy is to the right. This is us. This is them right there. All right. On the bottom left of the screen, you can see a little blob. This thing. Uh, with the number 404 on it. That's your energy. Playing your cards costs energy. The energy cost of each card is written in the top left corner of the card next to its name. Okay, looks like everything we got is a, a one. 
At the start of each turn, you will draw more cards and get more energy. Go ahead and try playing some cards. After you've spent all your energy, click the End Turn button to the right. Let's... When attacking, this target will random... Or target random opponents. <laughs> yeah, talking like that. Kill my throat. Alright, so we've got two enemy stars here. That one's at least a star. This one... Ruin. Okay. So, apply a debuff to the enemy. At the end of the turn, take 10 damage. Apply this debuff to him. So they take 10 damage. This one's the stronger. So we'll go ahead and apply it to him. Attacker. Creates a station with the ability to deal 9 damage to an enemy. Alright. So I've just built a station. Creates a station with the ability to deal 9 damage to an enemy. So I guess that's just... So we get to do 9 damage. And deal 10 damage to an enemy. We have one more. Ooh, nice, nice. And that's it for our energy levels. We did not shield. Ooh, he blew up one of our guys. And we're down 6 points. They're down to 3 and 21. We've got a lot of shield cards this time, so... Let's try it. We got plus 10 shield. That's a... I like that. All right. We're going to use half our energy for shielding. And then we're going to build another attacker. And we're going to destroy that guy. He just lost half his defense. Uh, we have zero points. So we'll go ahead and end that. And our shield was destroyed. And we took a few damage. I think. Did our maximum go down or did we heal? Hmm... All right, we're going to throw a big shield on this time. 22. Nice. And we're going to... He's got three. Can we do direct damage? Yes. We won! And we got points for that. Like, it healed us. This is where the reward screen... Whenever you win a battle, you get rewards. Okay. You, the number of rewards is random, but also influenced by luck you have. Your base luck is increased whenever you travel to a star, and your luck can also be modified by certain cards, enemies, and technologies. There are many different types of rewards. Most of them will either add a card to your deck or upgrade a card. Gives 24 shield to all allies obtained. Gives the buff whenever you attack, deals bonus damage equal to the square root of your luck. And then it's exhausted, which removes it from play. Gives you 14 shield to yourself. Choose up to one card to move from your discard pile to your hand. Uh, let's put an, a shield around us all. Select a card to add to your deck. Oh, I think I upgraded something. Refinery. Creates a station with the ability to give all allies plus one shield power and fire power. Deal 15 damage to an enemy. Reduces all attack values on the card by four. Deal 17 damage to the front, front, frontmost enemy. Draw a card. All right, there you go. And now we're here. This big stick going off into the universe. Uh, looks like we've lost some options. So we'll travel there next. We got two enemies again. Here are some tips about enemies. Enemies' health is below them, as you probably noticed. But did you notice the icons above them? These can tell you what the enemy is intending to do. Get more information about enemies. Hover over your mouse over them. Let's see. Intention. Deal sick damage to a random enemy two times. Add the card fired to the discard pile. Okay. Uh, let's see. To get more information, hover your mouse over the intended icons to get some handy info dumps. Enemy attacks in various ways. Some attack randomly. Others attack wherever is closest to them. And some might even attack everything at the same time. When enemies are attacking you, it is often a good idea to play some shield cards. Okay. Absorb a point of damage, which is valuable. Hmm. Ruin? Ruin. Let's see. This guy plans to deal 12 damage, and this one plans on dealing 12 damage. 24. Uh, Alright. 
will take two damage then. And then we'll deal 18 damage to them. And we'll create a station. We're out of energy. Right, not bad. We're going to create a station. Oh, and then we're going to split a shield between us. Haha, <laughs> nice. Uh, deal two, two. Okay, so that's 12 and 12 again. So, uh, the shields look like they drop off every time. Deal two damage to all allies. Exhaust. Is that a trick card? It's evil. Okay, they just lost half their attack power. They can only do 12 now. Alright, so we'll shield against that damage, and we'll go ahead and shoot him. Oop. So this up here. Attack level up. Vitals. At the end of each turn, gain 10 max health. Uh, attack level up. You face critical shot chance is 7.42. Turn. We won! Uh, let's select a card to add to the deck. Pepper. Deal six damage to a random enemy three times. Deal two plus two for each of your shield powers. Whenever a satellite is launched, give it plus three firepower and shield power. Buff. Gain this buff. Whenever a card which costs two or more is played, give ten shield power to yourself and exhaust. Those are both exhaust. That one is one that stays with us for each. So we'll go with that. And our luck is four. Let's see. And we get to add Deja Vu. Deal seven damage to an enemy, increasing all attack values on this card by four. Additive. Four shields to all allies to make random ally satellite performance action. And create a station with the ability give five shields to four different allies. Uh, let's go deja vu. We'll, we'll keep a little on the, uh, the damaging path. Looks like we've got Red Dwarf as like the only option. Hmm. It's quite a stretch, but we'll go. We've got two ones. Let's see. Deal six damage to all enemies. Gains equal to unblocked damage dealt by this card and shields. Deal six damage to a random enemy. Add the fire card to the discard pile. Hmm. Deal eight damage to an enemy. Increase value. Alright, eight damage to. This one's gonna get. or has shields. Just do it to that guy. Here are some more tips about shields. Your current shield level is displayed next to your health. The health bar numbers are written health, max health, and shield plus. So you can read the values. However, your shields only last one turn. Here is the reset. Uh, you don't need to play any shield cards if you aren't being attacked by anything. Well, we are. So we will. Now we are perfectly protected, and they won't gain any additional shield. We'll go ahead and build a station and end our turn. Well, our shield's held. So next, what are they doing? They're attacking. They're gonna deal four damage three times. They're gonna gain five shield to a random ally and deal six damage two times. Hmm, that's not good. Deal nine damage to a random player three times. Blocked half of that. They're still attacking. So that's 12 plus 12. That's 24. We can do 25. Blocked it all. All right, so what do we got? We've got fire, which deals damage to us. Laser, deals 10 to the enemy, 10 to the enemy. Ooh, a direct blast is 18 to the fr frontmost enemy. That would almost kill him. Almost, he had a shield on. Then we could laser, 
and that's half the damage gone. And then we've got 12 damage coming up. We can do big shield and not take any damage. Next up, we can do very little this time. Deal two damage, but we can shield up. Give it to all allies. 25. And I think that was actually an exhaust one. Whoops. I'm not 100%, but it might have been. Ignite. Apply debuff to an enemy. Uh, take 10 damage at the end of your turn. And deja vu, do 12. And I guess we could actually just take him out right now. We did it! Destroying suns. If only it was this easy. Alright, let's see here. Select a card to add to your deck. Shell. Link. Underkill. For the next two turns, whenever you be, you are being attacked, deal five damage to a random enemy. Give four shield to all allies. Make a random ally satellite perform its action. Deal 11 damage to an enemy. If the attack is not fatal, deal seven damage to all enemies. Oh, that's a nice one. Uh, let's see. A card to add. Create a station with the ability to draw two cards. Deal six damage three times. Create a station that will deal nine damage to an enemy twice. That's 18 damage. I was tempted for the other one, but we went with that. All right. Medium threat level detected. We've got one, two. Reduce all health by three. When attacking this target, random opponent deals six times two. So that's 12, okay? We can defend a little bit. And then, deja vu, deal eight. Increase all attacks on this card by four. Do eight. And then deal nine three times. It's random. We got one more. Deal 12 damage to an enemy. If the attack is not fatal, deal 8 to all enemies. Yeah, that's a good one. Real good. And then they're going to hit us for 3. Or they haven't done it yet. Uh, deal 10 laser damage. And we win. Let's see. Deal 7 damage to an enemy. Increase all attack values on this card by 4. Additive. Deal 40 damage to a random enemy, and it costs zero madness. Oh, oh, but we take 40 damage. Oh, that's most of our health. Deal 52 damage to a satellite, draw one card, gain one energy. Recycle. Oh, to a friendly satellite. Hmm. I like the additive part of that. And then destroy up to two of the cards in your hand. Draw a card for each card you destroyed. Deal 17 damage to the frontmost enemy. For each enemy remaining, give 10 shield to yourself. Oh, both of those are good. We'll go direct blast, though. We're, we're a very damaging crew. You are here. Medium. Mm, high. Medium. Let's go to a high. Will this be the end of us? There's three of them this time. One with a hundred health. Uh, buff. Gain one shield power. Deal six damage times two. This is twelve. And deal six to all enemies. If it's just me, it'll be fine. But others will take damage. Let's see. Debuff. And then, create a station. He's going to damage it for six. What's the station's health? Hmm. I don't know. Handy, though. Here are some tips about satellites you just summoned. You can see it by hovering over the side of your planet. Okay. You can move it around by clicking and dragging. If you have a lot of satellites, you can also right-click to move all of them the same. Oh, all right. 
As you probably noticed, a satellite will automatically use its ability whenever you end your turn. If you put your satellites in front of your planet, you will might bait more enemies into attacking them instead of attacking your planet. It's a valid way of defending yourself. There's no people on these satellites, so you don't have to feel guilty. Alternately, you can hide a satellite behind you where it can be a little bit safer. That way, the satellite can stay alive and keep using its ability. Ah. Well, it does nine damage times two. 18. Hmm. Deal eight damage to an enemy. Let's see. This one. That's the one we're kind of targeting right now. Do I? I, won't, mm, I can't use big shields, so see what happens. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, the pain. <laughs> All right. First off, you're going to hit for 12. You're going to hit for 30. And deal four damage to an enemy three times. That's another 12 plus gain shield. Oof, I should have targeted the bigger one, I suppose. We want a big shield. 22 or 25. So we can summon an attacker. Then we can put on a big shield on both of us. And it'll be right in front of us. Oh, it chopped through, but we, our shield's held. They killed off our little station. But that guy died, which is great. Let's see. He's got 35 health. We could do 10, 20, 28. No, this will attack him. Oops. Well, our decision has been made. Uh, let's see here. Put on a little shield. There we go. Let's hope uh, we don't take too much damage. All right, we're fine. So he's now attacking for 30, and he's attacking for 4, 2, and 8. Yeah, that's uh, 4 times 3. 16. Okay. Reduce luck by 1 for this combat. Why would we want that? It's terrible. Uh, we could do laser. Build a station. Just kind of split the damage, hopefully. Put on the big shield. That way we don't uh, potentially forget. And we could shoot for 10, or we can make another and damage for 9, which may or may not eat more damage. There we go. Hmm. We're out of energy. Let's see what happens. Oof. Okay, okay. So our shields held, but it was dangerous. So two damage to all allies. Pepper, deal nine damage to random three enemies. Okay, let's pepper them. All right, cool. We're down to just one. One third of the firepower is gone. But this guy is a mean one. Give yourself 27 shield. Wow. Deal eight damage to an enemy. Increase attack on this card. There we go. Let's see. He's not going to attack us, so we don't have to shield up. Deal 18 to the frontmost enemy. 18 down. Um, let's see. Underkill. Deal 12 to an enemy. Doesn't. It's not fatal. Eight more damage. 12 and eight. And then in turn. Deja vu. 12 damage. Increase attack by four. And it blocked because he has a shield. Is he attacking this turn? He is. We need to shield up. We'll take a little damage. Still broken. Five damage taken. Ugh, the deck is just getting filled with this trash. 16 damage is needed. I think we can do it. Oh, the shield. What's he doing? He's shielding up for another 33. We could start putting out stations, though. Uh, deal 18 damage to the frontmost enemy. We will get through this turn. 
7 plus 34. And he's attacking for 30. We have two shield cards? We do not. We have one big one. It'll give us five more damage still. 12 damage to an enemy and increases the value. Oof. Down to seven, plus 38, shielding again. His shield should be falling off too. Whenever you are being attacked, gain one shield power. That sucks. Direct damage, 18 to the frontmost enemy. 20 damage. Attacker. Mark 2. Deal 9 damage. To a random enemy twice. That'll help. So one's a times 2, one's not. That might have him killed right there, actually. Yes! We survived. And we're only slightly hurt. Create a moon with the ability to deal 20 damage to the frontmost enemy. Deals one to all friendly satellites. Whenever a card costs two or more is played, give ten shield to yourself. Deal fourteen damage to an enemy. If the attack is fatal, create a station with the ability of fourteen damage to an enemy. That's amazing. Select a card to upgrade. Ooh. What was that one I was liking? I mean, we could make one really powerful card, but it's... Deja vu. So these reset. Uh, ba, 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 ba. How do I accept card? Decide. Um, gives the planet's shield ability to unblock damage dealt by this card. Deals seven damage to an enemy, which increases the value. Gives the planet shield to unblock damage dealt by this card. Okay. See how that works. Looks like it's boss battle time. Extreme threat detected. Oh, oh my. It's one enemy that can deal seven damage to an enemy five times. It's a lot. At 270 health. And all these stringy lines. Deja vu. Uh, he has no shield, but that is a good one. We'll hit him. And it'll, it'll increase in power. Deal nine damage to a random enemy three times. Okay, then we're gonna shield up for ten. Ooh, I wish I had more defenses in there. I guess these are considered defenses. So let's see what happens. Nine damage. They destroyed it. Oh, ow! Not too bad actually. That satellite did did save us a bit. So attacker is definitely one we want. They're going to deal twenty nine damage to all enemies. He'll get one attack, so he'll get 18 damage out. We want direct damage from this point. Deja vu again. And we're going to do 12 damage. And 12 shield. That's right. That's right. Nice. Deal 9 damage to an enemy. Oh, whoops. Well, that one... I guess that will help spread the damage. But, uh... Yeah, I don't know. 29 damage to all enemies. Big shield. Not enough energy. Little shield. In turn. Oof. All right. Shield broke, but we only took barely any damage. What is he doing? Gain one firepower. Summon a dancer twin twice. So he's summoning his own defense satellites. Deal 15 damage to an enemy. If it attack is fatal, create a station with the ability of 14. It won't be fatal. Still, it's only one points will do it let's see underkill deal 12 damage if it's not fatal deal 8 damage to all enemies oh, we'll need that next turn for sure deal 18 damage to the frontmost enemy deja vu has come back oh, it comes back into the draw pile that's amazing and that's it for energy all right we've got a, a dancer now and his firepower is increased. And the is it destroyed? This will also be destroyed. If the receiver is destroyed. Okay. Uh, what are they doing? Apply debuff. The next three turns, your turn, take three damage. Take seven damage. Do a 
Let's see. We'll put on a shield. And then deal if the attack is fatal, create station. Let's see if we can make it fatal. That's 10. That's 10. It's not the card we want. And then that's 15. And we get a station out of it. Nice. With only four health. Ah. 12 damage? Not enough power. Okay. Congrats, you reached the first boss. If you defeat it, you will earn some very powerful rewards. Afterwards, you will be moved to the next cluster and test your deck against more powerful enemies. By the way, this is the end of the tutorial, but not the end of the demo. If the demo... If the, in this demo, you can play two of your four bosses that are currently in game. In the full game, you will expect more cards, more planets, more enemy types, more technology, and it'll be just generally pretty cool, I think. The game is still in development, so if you like it now, you're going to love it soon. So make sure to wishlist it. Good luck with the rest of the demo. another dancer that I did just realized it's over there. Wow. Uh, and it's attacking fourth through six. Five shields. Eight times five. So we both have shields now. Direct damage. We could do 18 damage. Deal. Do we have a card to kill? A random two damage debuff. Alright, let's kill this one. Oh, frontmost enemy. Now let's see how it goes. Blocked, blocked, blocked. Oh, destruction. Damage. Internal fires. Alright. Deja vu plus 16 damage. <laughs> then 12 damage it's not fatal deal 8 damage nice we can do another 10 damage we can deal 9 damage to random enemies that sounds good 38 damage remaining and what are you doing uh, applies this debuff to all enemies take 7 damage okay oof Let's see. When you your turn ends, take seven damage. Take three damage. Take seven damage. Ah! Ha, ha, ha. Oh, shield. I don't know if that's gonna help with that. Pepper. Oh, it's one hit point. Yes, we won the demo. We just blew up a sun. Select a tech to add to your planet. Scavenger. Gain buff. Whenever an ally is destroyed, increase all satellites' max health by three. Permanently gain five luck. We're going to go with that one. Swap a card from your deck with a different one. Select a card to remove. Select a card to add. Eh, don't want that. Select a card, a rare card, to add to your deck. You discard no cards at the end of your turn. Gain the buff whenever an ally is destroyed by friendly fire. Recover seven health. Your conditions will now always... have. Evaluate the truth. Propaganda. Uh, none of those are really great. Except, I mean, we could do that one. Select which two cards to combine. We can make that into a shield. We can make pepper better. Um... Trial. So, Pepper Plus. Deal 6 damage to an enemy. Three times. Deal 14 uh, damage to an enemy. And if it's fatal, create a station dealing 14 damage to the enemy. And damage plus 2 for each of your shield power points. Alright. It's done. And now we start over. And we've moved on from this one up here. So that's going to be it for this. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this. I, I like this. I mean, it's a roguelite.
Heat Death. Free on Steam for the demo. Alright, I'll see you guys later. This is Gun Jump signing off. Bye bye.